Anthony, can I get a few minutes? Boxervoice.com, live with the one and only Anthony Peterson. Anthony, man, what's going on? We're here live in Tampa. We finally get to see you back in action. You're making your debut on PBC. How excited are you to be on such a big card, this being the inaugural ESPN? Millions and millions of homes going to be tuned into this, and you have uh, the opportunity to truly make a name for yourself. Oh, it's, it's a blessing. You know, first of all, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity. You know, Al Heyman and everybody. Um, it's, just, it's a blessing, you know, and um, tomorrow night, uh, come to fight, I'm going to show you what y'all been missing. Now, uh, we've been watching you for a long time and waiting for you to get over that 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 hump to become a star. You've been in the media for a long time with your brother, and, and we've heard of you for so long, but now it's your time to perform. We haven't truly seen you in there uh, with, a, with a big name since Rio's. How anxious are you? I mean, it has to be frustrating for you. Not necessarily frustrating because you're actually, you know, in a good position, obviously, with BBC. But, I mean, you know, to see your brother and see your friends like Rasheed Warren and Broner and even Jamal Heron, all these guys, you know, consistently being in the ring. Now you're finally here. You got the hashtag on free boxing. I mean, how excited is this? Yeah, man, it's very exciting. You know what I mean? It's a dream come true. You know, this is what I've been pushing for my whole life ever since I started boxing at the age of nine. And um, I'm just going to go out there and, um, you know, make get a fans, you know, get their money's worth. Now, obviously, uh, you're training with Barry Hunter. You know, you guys got, uh, you know, Broner's trainer, Mike, Mike Stafford. You guys all train together and help one another. Um, just exactly what type of training you were doing this time around and what, what sparring did you get? Um, obviously, we know Jamal Heron stays in there. Robert Easter, these guys keep you sharp. But just how sharp are you going to be Saturday night? I'm going to be very sharp Saturday night. I actually, I just got finished sparring with Austin Trout. That's my buddy. That's my main man. And uh, he's, um... He, he, um, you know, he come up D.C. when he want to, when he can, and, uh, you know, but tomorrow night I'm going to be super sharp. Just know that. Austin Trout, I mean, that's 154 pounds, and I'm sure if he doesn't have a fight set up, he's got to be at least in the 165s. I mean, how were you able to handle some of that sparring, and what exactly were you working on? We know the sparring is detrimental, and it's something that's fundamental, so it's not necessarily just go in there and bang out with a guy. I mean, you know, just, you know, working on certain things that I want to do in a fight, uh, even though the guy I'm fighting is not Southpaw, just, you know, Trout, you know, is it, like we fought in the amateurs before, so we know each other very well. And I'm able to deal with those type of guys because I got very rangy long arms and I got good feet work, so I can get out the way when it's necessary. Now, I always find it intriguing that through all these years, you've been able to stay at 135, never, you know, a pound over on the scale. How do you do it? I, I mean, it's been a lot of years since we've seen you on HBO. How are you still a 135 pounder? Uh, discipline, you know, and then uh, genetics too. Um, you know, I don't, I don't do no drugs or nothing like that. I just stay in the gym consistently, um, and I eat right. You know what I mean? So um, when it comes to time to make the weight, I make it very easy. So I'll be a lightweight for a very, very long time. Final question: What's your prediction for Saturday night? Uh, my prediction: fifth round KO. All right, Anthony. Well, thank you very much, and we wish you the best on Saturday.